Good afternoon, sports fans. This is George with Custom Tide Flies and Guide Service. And uh, I am going to do a tutorial on the Gold Ribbed Hare's Ear Nymph. Um, it is a master fish catcher. It has been around for a hundred years. It works really, really well. It's a search pattern, so it stands in for about anything you can think of, from a mayfly to a stonefly. You name it, it stands in for it. It's a great little pattern. So, uh, what you need for the uh, pattern is uh, you need gold ribbing. You need thread. So this is uh, Danville Flymaster 140 denier. Um, I'm going to tie this on a Mustad 3906B nymph hook. This is a number 10. Uh, you need some uh, pheasant tails, what I use for my tail filaments. And you need... Uh, hair's ear dubbing. That's why it's a gold ribbed hair's ear nymph. Um, so uh, I, I like to use hair's ear plus. Uh, it's got a little antron uh, shredded up in it. It works really well. And um, the wing case is uh, turkey tail. So ordinarily I... Uh, I paint my turkey tail ahead of time with soft X, but uh, I'm kind of doing this one on the fly. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm, I'm not using a prepared turkey tail. So, of course, you're going to tie in. Run your thread all the way to the back. Notice I stop where the bend and the shank come together. Strip off a couple of um, pieces of pheasant tail. This needs to be about the about a shank length. Pinch wrap. Just include that in your body. A little gold ribbing. Tie that in. I use the back end of my scissors, old pair of scissors, to trim that off. Some folks will tell you that you have to use a dubbing loop here. That is crapola. You do not. There is no such thing as have to in fly tying. Do whatever the hell you want to do. You want to try to get a little tapered body going here. Throw a half inch or two on there. Dub thread cradle and just wrap that wire. I like to counter wrap it so I bring it towards myself.
So with your turkey tail, use your bodkin and poke into your turkey tail so that you have a wing case that's going to be proportional to the size of the fly. So, put it in shiny side down. Make sure it's on there real good. <clears throat> Finish dubbing your abdomen. Or your thorax, rather. Now, there's a couple of different theories out there with regard to legs. Some like picked out legs. Uh, I like attached legs. So, I'll show you what that means here in a second. Make sure you leave room um, behind the eye so that you can get everything tied in. You're not crowding your eye. Okay. <clears throat> like I said, I like attached legs. So I'll pull off a couple of pheasant tail fibers or I'll use a body feather and get a couple of those. Now notice I didn't put any weight in this. It's not a bead head. I didn't put any lead in the body. So if I were to put lead in the body, I would put a different color uh, thread head on it. I made my legs a little long. I like long legs. They uh, they move around well. Some people like stubby legs. Some people like to pick the fur out. And that's what I was just getting ready to do. I'm going to pick my fur out here a little bit. And the thorax. You can use um, a bodkin to do this, or you can use uh, a wire brush, whatever you want. There you have it. A gold-ribbed hair's ear nymph. And I'm going to try to get that a little closer. Doesn't really seem to want to focus very well. Maybe that needs to be further away. I don't know. 
seems to be focusing on me and and not on the fly. <clears throat> Hope this is helpful. Uh, again, uh, George with Custom Tied Flies and Guide Service. Maybe that's helpful. Oh, I can see it. Now. <clears throat> you can tell I'm a real professional videographer. <clears throat> So you can find me on, uh, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to, uh, if you like this video, I hope it was helpful. Have a nice day.